Uh, particularly since the Republican victory in 2016, there seems to be a schism in the Jewish community. Uh, Jewish liberals are turning against the supporters of this administration. What do you attribute this to? Uh, look, I think it's a function of the fact that there are more conservatives today. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, not all Jewish conservatives are wildly pro-Trump and they're not all part of the administration. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that really the schism that you're seeing mm -hmm. has to do with the, the idea that, uh, that there are people for whom politics becomes a substitute religion. And that's very, very much a problem in the Jewish community. Mm -hmm. Many of the Jewish liberals who are most outraged at Jewish conservatives are people for whom social justice, so-called, mm -hmm. or basic liberalism and liberal activism mm -hmm. becomes a substitute for any more substantive mm -hmm. Jewish religious commitment. Mm -hmm. And look, religion and politics are both wonderful. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't mix. Mm -hmm. uh, do you uh, attribute any of this to the liberal rabbis who may be leading those reconstructionists? No, no, no. The, the, the liberal rabbis are a reflection, they're not a cause. In other words, it, most of the people in those pews, they go to those congregations to mm -hmm. hear those liberal rab rabbis, and if they're right, frustrated right. by it, they leave. By the way, I think it's equally obnoxious for people to be talking in shul from a pulpit about uh, why it's necessary to support President Trump or why it's necessary to be a conservative. Mm -hmm. Look, we don't have a uh, 614th commandment, thou shalt vote Democratic, and we don't have a 615th commandment that says thou shalt vote Republican. Okay, thank it's you. It's not, not in the Torah. Okay.